While we scroll and click, designers, engineers, and marketers are running experiments to figure out what will grab our attention. They do this with A-B testing. Let's say a shoe company wants to know which email subject line will generate more sales, one with a sneaker emoji or one without. They'll divide the recipients in two, sending group A the emoji while group B gets the basic version. Then they'll compare the two groups' responses to determine which message gets more clicks and sells more kicks. For decades, A-B testing has been the standard for evaluating everything from fertilizers to pharmaceuticals, but its simple elegance can't keep up with increasingly complex online platforms. A vacation rental app, for example, has two kinds of users, property owners and travelers. Running an experiment on one group will likely change how the other group behaves, and that's a big no-no in A-B testing. So researchers are upgrading A-B testing with new kinds of experiments that have the potential to improve people's lives and not just online.